Welcome to the SCBWI Southern Breeze. Today we are honoring our dear friend, Liz Conrad, who created many wonderful children's books. In honor of her legacy, the Southern Breeze chapter of the Society of Children's Book Writers and Illustrators, SCBWI, has established a merit-based award for our regional illustrators. This award is now the only contest offered to our illustrators each year. The Liz Conrad Award is given annually to one promising illustrator in the children's book field, and it provides one year free SCBWI membership, as well as review comments from the judge. We're so honored to have this year's judge be Laura Freeman, the award-winning illustrator of children's books. This award is only open to Southern Breeze SCBWI members, and it's an impressive honor to add to one's resume. Applications may be submitted between November 15th and January 15th of each year. And this year, our applicants were charged to create a double page spread based on a prompt. This year's prompt was based on the African fable, Anasi and the Turtle. We had several applicants and Laura Freeman provided review com uh, comments and decided our honorees and winner for this year. This year's 20... 2021 second runner up is Rebecca Gunn. This year's first runner up is Andriketta Willan. And the winner of the 2021 Liz Conrad Award is Taylor Ackerman. Taylor was gracious enough to sit down and chat with us today and share a little bit about her work as a children's book author and illustrator. Taylor, thank you so much for joining us here today with SCBWI Southern Breeze. First of all, I'd like to congratulate you on winning the 2021 Liz Conrad Award. Yay, 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 yay. <laughs> All right, well, welcome to this quick interview. I wanted to make sure everyone had a chance to meet you and learn more about your work. Um, I will be going through a few questions and just so that people can kind of get to know a little bit more about you. So first question, can you tell us a little bit about your art process, um, the materials you used, and also some of the inspiration for your um, work as an illustrator? Yeah, sure. Um, so first of all, thanks to the Southern Breeze chapter and thanks to Laura Freeman for uh, giving me this award and this opportunity. Um, but to tell you a little bit about my process, um, I think the most important part of my process is thumbnailing. Um, I always start in my sketchbook with just a pencil or a pen, whatever I've got laying around, uh, and just make little tiny thumbnail drawings uh, to work out compositions and just kind of what I want to illustrate. Um, from there, I'll move into a rough sketch and I'll do two or three rough sketches sometimes. And these are almost always uh, digital for me. I use Procreate on the iPad. Um, sometimes I'll still do uh, like an initial rough sketch in my sketchbook uh, with pencil. And from there, I'll move into a finished pencil drawing and I'll put a lot of texture and value um, in there. A lot of times I'll still do uh, the finished pencil drawing traditionally with uh, fine art pencils on paper. Um, occasionally I've been doing them in Procreate um, as well, just because the pencil brushes there are really good. Um, after I've got uh, like a texture and a composition and a, um, tightness that I'm happy with, I'll go ahead and just kind of wash color underneath my pencil sketch to finish the illustration. Mm -hmm. um, and then as far as inspiration, uh, I pull a lot of inspiration from just things I'm learning. So I'm constantly uh, learning new things on the internet, uh, reading books, uh, going out and experiencing nature. And I'm just really inspired uh, by like different things I learn about the plants in my area and the animals and uh, any history or science that I'm learning. And I'm just really inspired to create work that shares all of those cool things uh, with other people through illustration. Wonderful, thank you so much for sharing this. You know, one of the best things about being online is being able to see the work real time. 
Um, I know I've done interviews before, but we didn't have the opportunity to do this the way we are. So I appreciate the, you know you sharing. Um, can you tell, tell us a little bit about some of your favorite things to illustrate? Because I'm getting familiar with your work, but I'm trying to, I'm curious if there's any consistencies or any favorite things that you like to illustrate. Mm -hmm. I think my absolute favorite part is uh, like creating a character. Um, so character development is something that I spend a lot of time on when I'm doing like a full composition uh, before I start like a book dummy or a story. I'll do tons of character sketches beforehand just in my sketchbook, getting to know the character, uh, what they like, what they wear, what their house looks like. I really like developing kind of like that little world. Um, and I think it comes through and delivers like a more rich illustration in the end. Yeah. So you really start to go into their world and who they are at a cellular level almost mm -hmm. to really understand the characters and bring that out into the page. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, another question. What keeps you inspired? Because I know that this is a long game that we, we play. So what keeps you inspired as you develop in your craft as an illustrator? Um, I think the ability to tell better stories. Um, I love telling stories and I love sharing cool things with people. And I think the more I develop my technical skills, the better my ability uh, to convey message and emotion and story to other people through my art becomes. Um, so learning things like value and color and improving my composition skills uh, just sets me up with a better tool set to tell stories. Mm -hmm. All right, so one more question, and this is the really important one. Where can we learn more about your work and uh, social medias, websites, um, any anything like that? Um, you can find my work. Let me pull this up at studiolong.com with three O's in long. Um, and I'm the same at Studio Long on Instagram, Twitter, and Behance. Perfect, perfect, that's wonderful. So we'll make sure that we send um, all of our members as well as any contacts we have that, um, you know, cause people really do look at the SCBWI websites as well as the Southern Breeze. Um, we have faculty that come to our conferences and different kinds of events that we have. So it really is a good opportunity to get in front of, um, you know, eyes. So um, thank you so much for sharing your work. Thank you for submitting your work because that shows a real commitment to, to, to your craft, to storytelling, and also to putting yourself out there, which isn't always easy, but it's something that we have to do if we wanna move forward um, in this business. So thank you so much for joining us, Taylor. And we wish yeah, you all you. the best, all the best in, um, on your journey. Yeah, thanks. Thanks again for the opportunity to, to share my work and to have a little chat with you about my work. Perfect. Perfect. All right. We'll see you soon. Okay. See you. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us here at the SCBWI Southern Breeze. We'll be seeing you all soon.